Hello! Today I would like to share with you a very personal insight that I had around our physical form, our body, senses and the physical aspect of life and beauty. I had a session last week with a wonderful coach, Linda Preacher, and during the session we explored many different things and the core for me was uh, the insight about being connected to our heart and then taking action that is inspired by the heart. And I came up during the session with a couple of uh, ideas that were related to my work and I wanted to go ahead with them. And another thing came up to me during the session that had to do uh, with my desire to enjoy more the physical aspect of, of life, to smell something beautiful or to touch something nice, to, to move my body and dance and enjoy it. And as I was exploring this with Linda, I really felt very energized and there was this very pleasurable sensation in my body, which was a sign for me that this particular insight was a meaningful one, really, for me at this time of my life. And then I drove back home after the session and in one moment it just dawned on me, I, I saw clearly that for a long time, in a way, I was, I've been separating myself from the body. Like I, in a way, I felt that the, the body betrayed me in the past. So in a way, I didn't want to have much to do with it. Let me, let me give you a little bit of context. Um, as a child, I was bullied a lot because of the way I looked, you know? It wasn't so much about the body, it was more the face. So I have quite big ears and I have this birthmark on my nose and I wore glasses, mm, my skin is quite pale and also my teeth <laughs> were like, like a squirrel kind of, like a rabbit. <laughs> and <clears throat> Like from the age of 8 years old until 15 or so, I was really teased a lot by other kids. And it was like wherever I went, I was given the nickname that was one or another version of ugly, whether it was at school or summer camp. Like they were picking a lot on me um, because of my looks. And I was quite a shy child, not very confident and um, I didn't want to speak with any adult about what was happening so I was really really suffering a lot because of it and it made me quite vulnerable mm. yeah and then I went to high school and uh, age of 15 and things changed no one else no one was picking on me anymore or no one was really making any comments about my face or my looks. Although, for the next at least 10 years, I thought that, you know, people were commenting on how ugly I were. <laughs> for instance, I remember I was <clears throat> waiting for a tram on a tram stop, the station, and some people were just talking between them. And I was sure that you know, they were commenting on what the ugly nose I had or something like that. But I also was aware that it was perhaps more in my mind than in reality. And I started to, you know, to enjoy mm, myself more. With time I kind of forgot mm, mostly about all the teasing and I kind of started even to like my looks, uh, <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't like paying a lot of attention to, <clears throat> to beauty. For instance, I wouldn't decorate my house a lot. Um, it was in a way like body is not important. 
and last week when I was driving in that car I just realized that in a way I made it up in my mind that appreciating beauty in myself, in the world, in other people and enjoying the, the body, the, the senses, the physical form is like betraying the, the tribe of ugly people and in a way I felt I, I belonged to the tribe and I didn't want to betray them it's funny now when I'm reflecting at it what the strange things we make up in our minds sometimes and then we believe them <laughs> and you know about the ugly people I need to say that I really believe there is no such thing as ugly people it's it's so much in our minds and I can think now of a couple of people someone from the past from the childhood and someone who I know now that maybe their faces are not mm, how to put it that I could have thoughts like mm, they are a little bit ugly you know <laughs> but those people really seemed very comfortable and and easy um, and then feeling well in their skin and you know and had they had also this was interesting they had very nice romantic partners and I really could see their beauty, you know, they were beautiful. Maybe their nose was looking like mine or something like that, but they were beautiful actually. And it just, uh, just made me realize like the beauty really is not in the physical form. It's behind the form, it's deeper. It's, it's the expression of our sensitivity and our energy that it can be seen in the eyes or in the movement of someone in someone's smile and we feel really attracted to this energy of life expressing itself self freely without too much thinking of mm, is this profile better or that one <laughs> you know like there is something very attractive in people being at ease and just just feeling comfortable in their skin and you know about the beauty i also realized that i personally feel very attracted to some to art for instance that is not that perfect that is more ordinary for instance last yeah last year we had a on my seminar I had a participant who brought his guitar and he played the song and it wasn't perfect but it was so beautiful that it just moved me to tears it just I was mesmerized by the beauty of this creative expression and you know <laughs> I would like to finish today saying that the insight I had just kind of made me feel softer and uh, I believe it will I, I don't know what it will lead to but I believe that it kind of opened to me a possibility of enjoying something that I haven't been allowing myself to enjoy for a while so I let you know <laughs> in the future what new comes up for me I hope some of you could resonate with it and maybe someone finds it helpful let me know what you think bye bye for now have a beautiful day <laughs>